Well, right now we're going to take a look back in time as we discover New Jersey with Kurt Sieglin. Well, history is all around us here in New Jersey, and sometimes the key to finding that history is not in looking, but just looking in the right spot. And that's what just happened in Perth Amboy. We discover New Jersey with history found after 40 years. When we walked in, um, it was right here. Sitting up against the wall in the library basement boiler room. One of a kind of murals. I had no idea of their history. No one did. One of the originals is still on a library wall, and that was a clue, but it took a newspaper article from the 70s to fill in all the blanks. And what they found out, these murals are from the 1930s. Once I built a railroad, now it's done. Brother, can you spare a dime? They were part of President Franklin Roosevelt's Work Projects Administration after the Great Depression. Two artists created 23 plaster bas-reliefs. They all have childhood themes as they once adorned the children's library. But in 1974, there was a fire. The murals were saved, but put in the basement. And there they sat for nearly four decades, forgotten. Just to know that they were laid against the wall, um, it was disheartening. You know, this, these are masterpieces that all the residents of the city should have an opportunity to, to see them. And thanks to the mayor's preservation insistence, they will be. But first, they've got to be cleaned up. It's like an old baseball glove. You, you, you wouldn't fit, refinish that and bring it up to looking like new, but would you do that with these? Clean them and protect them with an eye to displaying them once the library reopens in September. That means their history is also their future, as all of Perth Amboy will get to enjoy these murals as residents did 70 plus years ago. To know that it is preserved and that we're going to have future generations also have an opportunity to see that what we found and what we are going to um, showcase. The discovery of the artwork actually happened because the library is being remodeled. What they also found. We'll have part two of Perth Amboy History Found coming up tomorrow. Well, the Perth Amboy Library is currently being remodeled. Now, as materials got moved around, they uncovered history they did not know they had. In the second part of our series, History Found, we visit a room filled with historical treasures. I think out of sight, out of mind. It's really the only way to describe this. Under peeling paint, a forgotten room in the Perth Amboy Library basement. Lantern slides. 1894. Stereo views. 1898. Sheet music. 1872. These are all originals. It's overwhelming. It's just astounding. And I, I, I don't really know of a lot of other discoveries that are like this. Fayette Street sidewalks looking west. It's an eclectic mix of everything collected by and donated to the library going back well over a century. Throughout the years, they just continue to stack and, you know, and bring things in and, and just store them. However, no one knew about it. So it's in here. And it's the mayor who went in here. We're on a mission. And realized just how special it all is. I'm very thankful to all those previous librarians because, you know, they saved city history. It's right here. There's certainly Perth Amboy history here, but potentially American world history. You don't know what you're going to find in this room. An old map of England and pictures of Cuba in the 1800s. Yeah, look at this. Such an odd mix. River Road front of great, a great pyramid. <laughs> and so much of it. This is incredible. It'll take months to go through. You need somebody who is versed in the history, who's going to know the value of these things. History experts with Garden State Legacy are helping to assess all that there is and what should be done next. You have to make value judgments as to what is really valuable and what has historic significance and so forth. And a lot of times that's a judgment call. I want to make sure that we know what we have. I think what's so great about this is that it was in a basement of a library, the history of the city. Yeah. Down the line, the mayor wants to display some of those treasured items in that room. But right now, they're just figuring out exactly what they've got. There are sections of that room that have not been looked at in decades. It's truly a time of discovery in Perth Amboy.